It's Friday, September 26, 2014. I'm Justin Hunt. This is DX Daily. Up first, the details of Amber Rose and Wiz Khalifa's prenuptial agreement have been obtained by TMZ, and it looks as though the former stripper stands to receive $1 million from the rap superstar. Amber Rose filed for a divorce from Wiz on Monday. There are rumors that she was in the midst of an affair with Nick Cannon, but Rose shot those down on Twitter yesterday. Please stop with the fake story, she said. I would never ever cheat on my husband in a million years. I think you guys know this. Interesting. Unfortunately, now my ex-husband can't say the same. I'm devastated and crushed, but my main focus is Sebastian. Thank you for all the support in this difficult time. This story keeps spiraling. DX will keep you posted on further developments. Next, earlier this week, Rod Digga explained that this is 50 Radio why she doesn't consider Iggy Azalea hip hop. Here's the Brick City native. Roll the clip, James. See, Iggy Azalea is like, I can't get into her because uh, because it's just not real to me. There is a white girl from Australia that spits in an Australian accent, and her name is Chelsea Jane. Like, that I can get into. Mm. Like, teach me Australian hip-hop culture. Don't come to America and try to convince me that you're gangsta book. I don't, I don't personally, I don't consider her hip-hop. Like, I listen mm. to her album. Like I don't, everything that I hear on there is everything but that. And I feel like hip hop is hip hop. Interesting, right? Well, yesterday Iggy responded to Rod Digger. Taken to Twitter, she said, I honestly don't really mind if I'm described as rap or pop. My passion is purely making music and entertaining. It's definitely funny seeing people get so emotional over it. What does it matter? Music is music and many enjoy mine. No need to feel upset. Now, Iggy's always quick to defend herself. That's always respectable. But what do you think? Does Rod Digger have a point? Let us know in the comment section. Wrapping up, Ari the Rugged Man performed on the Merge 316 stage during the Sunset Strip Music Festival last weekend. During a conversation with DX, Ari explains the hypocrisy surrounding the Ray Rice scandal. Here's Ari. Roll the clip, James. Ray Rice, exactly. It's the most hypocritical thing in the world. Ray Rice punches his girl out, it's on tape, so now, oh, he's the worst person that ever fucking lived. Oh, Ray Rice, the worst person that ever lived. But then they go and play, pay $60 to see Floyd Mayweather fight, and, and you know, uh, uh, because it wasn't on video, it's okay. And then you pick up the Billboard magazine, it's Chris Brown's face, so, so what, you forgot that they did that? So now Ray Rice is a monster, but these people, I'll buy the Billboard, I'll buy the fight. Like, like okay, if you don't want to hold it against Floyd and, and, and Chris Brown, okay, then don't hold it against Ray Rice. But don't say Ray Rice is the fucking devil, and then all of a sudden, oh, but uh, you know, you know, either everybody's a devil or nobody's a devil. You know, you got, you got to, you got to, you know, everybody's a human being. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody does dumb shit in their life. And, and a guy like Ray Rice was caught doing a fucking horrendous act. But if his act is so horrendous, then think it's horrendous when everybody does it, not just the one man. Now that's real talk from RA. But do you agree? Hit us up and let us know. Full interview coming soon. Those are the day's most interesting hip hop headlines. Let us know what you think about in the comments section. And as always, for more music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.